everyone welcome back if you are joining us again if this is your first time welcome this is fit chick yay and today is sunday january 26th therefore i've not made a video in 24 days my apologies you know what i think i'm gonna start making a video once a month instead of every week because quite honestly first of all i don't have that much to talk to you about anyway <laughs> truth be told and secondly, I get really, really busy during the week, and I'd rather focus on doing what I'm telling you to do than telling you to do it, if that makes sense. Think about it. Anyway, so yes, clearly I'm in my bathrobe. Um, I'm about to take some progress pictures for my coach, so I didn't want to make the video in my bikini, so here I am. Um, I'm going to quickly discuss some of the things that are helping me on my journey. Um, physical things and you'll see that in a second speaking of my journey let's talk about 2014 um, it's the last weekend in 2014 that's why it was a priority for me to get this video out there I want to make sure that you're asking yourself the question whether your resolutions pertain to fitness or anything else like make sure you're asking yourself you know what am I doing wrong what am I doing right you're reassessing the last month you know, this is January, you don't want to wait till November to be like, oh crap, I let my goals slide by. So in my case, for example, as it pertains to my fitness goals, um, the first week in January was really tough. After the holidays and whatnot, like you're on the, your body's on a sugar high and just cutting all that sugar is hard. Um, then I spoke to my coach, we spoke about going 21 days straight um, without all that junk food. Uh, so. I did the first two weeks and that was fine, the first 14 days, and after that, this last week was just tough, like it was just hard, and I slid a little bit and had Twix bars, and I just, I've been able to give up meat, I just cannot give up sugar, and my body just craves sugar, and I know it's natural, but I think mine's a little unnatural, because I won't just eat one or two, I eat like eight, eight. Anyway, so, um... So yeah, so seeing as it's the last weekend in the in the month and this is my last downtime in January, I'm just reassessing things, reevaluating, re-strategizing, and hoping to conquer February. Um, and for those of you who are thinking, what coach? I don't know if you remember me saying that one of my goals is to compete in a fitness competition this year, 2014. And so I've gotten a coach for that. I am paying her, nothing in this world is free. And I'm really hoping to compete this year. And if I don't make it, that's fine. I won't beat myself up. Um, I know that I'll have many chances in the future to compete, but I really hope it's something I can just discipline myself to do. And I hope that if I don't do it, it's because I physically can't and not because I mentally could not overcome the challenges. Anyway, enough about that. Tell me how your 2014 resolutions are going. And now I'm going to talk to you about a few items, physical items I have that are helping me stay on track. So like I said, since I'm trying to compete, I have a coach and I have to weigh my food. I don't count calories, I weigh my food. I got this amazing scale from Walmart. And first of all, I don't endorse Walmart or anything they do or do not do to their employees and children in third world countries, by the way. Um, I'm just really broke and Walmart is the cheapest for a lot of things. So you'll hear me say Walmart a lot, not because I particularly endorse them. If I had the money, I probably wouldn't shop there. So this is a scale I bought at Walmart and it is amazing. It was only $25. It's nice and thin. It's light. I don't really know how to demonstrate weight in the video, but it's, it's light and it can fit in your purse and... Well, let me demonstrate. It can fit in your purse, and there'll be extra room. It's just perfect. It's just a perfect $25 scale. Um, of course, I don't weigh myself on it. It weighs in like ounces. And this is the box. This is the box. And so it also counts calories for those of you who count calories. Um, it weighs and gives you the calories for a thousand foods. You can look up foods by name. Um, it comes with this huge list of foods and you know how much they weigh and what calories and all that stuff that I don't typically use. But if you're starting your weight loss journey, 
This is definitely, definitely a good tool. And you can just wipe it down well, um, after you finish weighing it. The surface is great. It doesn't stick and all that stuff. So I absolutely love this. Another thing I particularly love is when you go out to restaurants. So I'm making this video because it's Sunday. And on Sunday, I usually go to church, go to yoga, and prep my meals. Those are my Sundays. I don't like going out and doing anything other than that, except Super Bowl Sunday, because the Broncos are going to the Super Bowl. Woo -woo. And my Bronco shirt is still not in the mail, but that's a different video. So um, <clears throat> when you go out places, like when you go to Noodles & Company or Tokyo Joe's or you order food, in and they give you these containers i tend not to throw mine away only because when i'm in a rush or something i just need a bowl i can put my salad and stuff in here and reuse it um same thing with these now the only reason i don't use these as often is because they're not you know they're cheap they're made to for you to like go with nothing fancy so if I make something with a lot of liquid they tend to spill in your bag and I am speaking from experience you don't want that so this is nice for a quick like toss up to go um, however if you wanted something more liquid you'll probably have to get something like this I absolutely love this bowl it's from Sprouts and I'm pretty sure they sell them in other stores as well. But the cool thing is that they seal tight like a jar. And so I've had soups in here and all kinds of things in here. Never has it ever spilled in my bag. And if anything was going to spill in anyone's bag, it would be my bag. And it hasn't. So I absolutely love these bowls. Another bowl I got from Walmart is this. And this I typically use to cook my meal when I cook my meal in bulk for the week. So I'm not scrambling every day. I can do, for example, quinoa. And I measure my amounts of quinoa, put four servings in here. And so before I leave for work, I take one of the smaller bowls and I put one of the servings in here. And I keep the rest of this in the fridge. So typically this is for storage at home. Sometimes I will make a salad and put it in my bag, but it occupies a little more room than the other bowls. So I typically do not. Another one of my favorites is this one because it has compartments. So sometimes I have salmon, sweet potatoes, and vegetables. And I just like having that order and separation. Um, I'm not particularly picky about how my food mixes up in the plate because it mixes up in my stomach. But if you are particularly picky about that, um, there's this amazing bowl, and I believe this is from Walmart as well, and they're all microwavable, but I don't own a microwave. I don't particularly believe in microwaves or TV, but that's a different video for another day. And I love this bowl. It's great. So this, um, it's not good for liquids. I don't have the lid right now. It's somewhere in there, but liquids will spill out of this bowl. So one of my personal favorites is this one. Now this I stole from my brother. He bought it in England. But I have my own. It's in the sink right now. And um, I believe I got it at TJ Maxx. Crazy. I know. But absolutely love it. It's like antibacterial microfilm something bowl. And mine was about $3 or $4. It's a little smaller than this one. And I absolutely love it. This is where I put my main meals for the day. Because no matter what you put in it, especially when you steam your vegetables and there's a little bit of water in there, it snaps shut and nothing comes out of it. So I absolutely love it. And it's nice and small, fits right in your bag. It's perfect. I love these. So another one of my favorites for a completely different reason is, let me show you, this. I got this from Walmart, and all of these bowls range between $2 and max probably $6.99. So they're not that pricey at all. And obviously you reuse them, so I don't know how long they last. I've had some for years. So the reason I love this bowl from Walmart, so many reasons. But one, it's com like it can compress, so it can form a smaller bowl in case you just have a smaller snack. And then you can put this on it for a layer. Oh, and it keeps everything cool. It's cool gear. So you put this on it for a layer. And then you put the containers in here. And the other ones in there. I didn't bring all of them out because it's not necessary. And all of them have lids. 
that snap shut. So, when you put all everything in like this, you come in and you close it and everything snaps shut like the other bowl. And you put it in your bag. The only downside about this is that it's a little heavy in the bag um, because of the, the cool gear, that blue layer. It's, it's kind of heavy. But what's awesome about it is I put like up to two meals in here. So even if I use this second half as a bowl, let's say I put my fish and veggies in here. I put this over it. I put my oatmeal in here, I put my fruit in here, and I could put like my almonds or something in here, and cover it, and right there I have meals one and two, and sometimes three. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of bulky as you can tell when you use all the compartments, but definitely you will not be forgetting any of your meals at home, that's for sure. And I absolutely love it, and it keeps it cool, it keeps it hot. It's great. Walmart. And so, finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about liquids. So, I have these two cups. I use them a lot more over the summer. Um, because that's when I was making my smoothies before I started training. So now I don't really get smoothies anymore because of all the sugar. But if you drink smoothies in the morning or whenever... This is amazing, particularly in the summer. So this one I got from TJ Maxx. And, you know, it's nice and cute. It says happiness, love, life, whatever. And um, I think it was like $3 or something. Um, this is fun. Great. This, on the other hand, is also cool gear. So you can freeze it. And what I used to do is I'd make my smoothie the night before and put it in the freezer and just freeze it like this with a straw and everything. And literally, it would take almost like eight hours for it to thaw, or like five hours, I should say. And so I would put it in the freezer, <clears throat> take it to work, and when lunch hour rolls around, around that one or two, or my or my second break, around three or four, or after work, before the gym, around five, I would take it, and I would have it at my desk all day, so it's thawing, and then I would take it and leave and it's hot out and I have my nice cool drink and it's just amazing and it was $3.99 and I got it at Ross and it's just great. It's a little heavy. Again, all the stuff with cool gear that are insulated are quite heavy. Um, I think it's the same brand as this but very, very essential and the straw and everything. It's just fun to drink. Like you see people with their Starbucks smoothies and whatnot and you're thinking like well mine is healthy and it's homemade and it's nice and cold as well so that's just a, a perk of it so these are a few things that i use around the house to help me organize myself because the more organized you are the better set you are to succeed if you don't if you fail to plan you plan to fail and that seriously applies itself in fitness because every time I don't prep on Sundays, I have a crappy week. And I just end up cheating because I just wasn't ready for a long meeting or I forgot a meal at home or I didn't cook this or weigh that. So always prep. Use as many tools as you need to prep your meals. And let me know if you have any questions. Again, once a month, the videos will be coming in. So... I'm debating if I'm going to make a February video, probably, because this is still January. So I will see you next month. Till then, follow your dreams and hit your goals. Bye.